I don't have a problem with online inquiries because I'm generating them as a result of having listings. This is your first day in real estate, and I am your real estate sales trainer and coach, James Festini. And this is the program that's going to teach you how to sell more real estate in less time. By the way, if you're using Zillow, just hit the unsubscribe button and block me. I don't want to hear, I don't want you guys to do it unless you're seeking help. The addiction of paying the inquiry dealer, right? The highest quality inquiries, Zillow or Trulia or Realtor.com. Facebook ads that are not advertising your listing, but they're advertising uh, quanta, right? The, the, what is and what isn't. Because you think that you are getting uh, a name or an email address of somebody who's interested. But as I've told you the math before, that with 165 million active users on Zillow and only about 5 million homes being sold, there are 160 million people every month who are kicking the tire and they're selling it back to you. This is, um, let's go back to the drug thing. I seem to be uh, on a drug kick. Heroin users who can't afford heroin or the dealers who deal heroin, they use a substance called fentanyl, which is super powerful, but super dangerous. The opposite, Zillow being their leads or other inquiries are not that powerful, but you get that hit because you can have a lot of it, right? The opposite. I guess my theory is falling apart. But you know what I'm getting at. You want the lead. You want the inquiry. You are misled, for starters. You're misled into believing that the uh, Zillow inquiry, or on, let's just call them online leads, are leads. The word online lead is not a real word. There, there's no such thing as an online lead. Unless somebody says, they type on their email and say, hi, James Festini. I have my house on 123 Main Street and I'm interested in selling it. That's a lead because you have a name, a number, and they addressed you and you have identified their intention. When you get an inquiry from the internet, you really don't know their intention. It's just a, a, an email and I'm curious about. I'm curious about this house. I'm curious about the photos. I'm curious about the value of my house. Again, 165 million people on Zillow are curious about the value of their house. There's people out there who wake up in the morning, brush their teeth, comb their hair, shower and shave, and then they go and check their stocks, they check their bank account, they read the news, they check their Zillow estimate, they check the weather, they check the traffic, and then they go to work. It's almost like a routine to, that, to, to hold this, it's almost like stock, like checking your stock. People check their house value and bounce it against these online uh, sources as if that's part of a bank account, right? My equity, oh, my house. And you get them all the time. You get these leads when you're calling them like, or you put them on an automated drip campaign to give them automated CMAs. And then suddenly, you know, you call them and like, oh, I noticed the last report you sent me, my house went down $11,000. It's like almost, you think, no, it, it's an algorithm like the stock market. Don't worry about that. Let's talk about, so you're serious about selling. If I can get you back that $11,000 today, Maybe even a couple bucks more. Would you? Would you? Sign, would you be ready? <laughs> right? When they say that, oh, it looks like it went down eleven thousand. Well, if I can get you twenty thousand today, would you do it? Oh, well, well, maybe after the pandemic, maybe after Christmas, maybe after New Year, maybe after I decide to actually sell, and I don't have the guts to tell you no, and you don't have the insight to know that I'm telling you no. Lead generation and follow up, my friend. People ask me all the time, where do I get my data? How do I have so many good numbers without spending an arm and a leg? because I recommend you get it from three places and I merge them to create the ultimate white pages. Two of them are Cole Realty Resources and TelephoneList.biz. They will provide you names, addresses, phone numbers, along with email addresses scrubbed against the do not call list, available for both US and Canada. Now, have you seen my amazing local market videos for my real estate business? In one word, Teradatum. They make videos branded to your brokerage and automatically update them every month with videos by zip code, county, city, and your hyper local market, and it's extremely affordable. Have you guys seen my website lately? Well, you should. It's absolutely gorgeous. I owe it all to Zentap. They will help you with your advertising using your MLS, IDX, and social media to attract an audience and engage your leads using sophisticated bots. 
Now, you're gonna need a powerful CRM to manage all of this, and as you know, Mojo Selling Solutions is more than just a dialer. It's the most powerful CRM bar none. Mojo provides you expires for sell by owners, and that is the third list of data, along with email and mail campaigns. For more information on any of these products, along with my personal coaching and training products, go to jamesfestini.com today. Or just show financial support at any amount on patreon.com forward slash jamesfestini. Now, get back to work.